In this course, we will be developing and running code. Previously, you have all used tools like Wing Python IDE. For this semester, we encourage you guys to use tools like Notepad++ and Sublime. While there are C IDEs out there, like my personal favorite, C Lion, which is installed on my computer, they can do a lot of the thinking for you, which we will be testing on the exam. For your sake and the sake of your grade, it is best not to rely on these tools. Similarly, using online IDEs will make you a bit lazier. Let's look at my favorite online ID, REPL.IT. On the left, we have a section where we can write our code, and on the right, we have our output. All I have to do is click the Run button, and this will both compile and run my code. But this also skips over the compilation step, the GCC step. We will be testing this in the course, so I suggest you avoid online IDEs too for the same reason. Now we will look at the right way to do things. We'll create a local test environment, and to do that, I will be using a text editor. This text editor I'm using right here is Sublime. It's cool because it highlights and color codes text for you. That is important. And it also gives you a little main map on the right here so you can see your code and scroll through it if the file becomes large. And once again, on the right, we have my terminal. There are plenty of online tutorials about how to install GCC, so I'll assume you have this installed already. So let me walk through the first exercise with you. First, I will have written out all my code here to complete the first exercise. Because we're just printing a statement, I went ahead and did this already. And then I will have to just run in my terminal the correct commands in order to get this. First, I'll need to go to the directory with my exercise 0 in it. First, I'll type in ls to list out all the files I have within my directory. This will be different on Windows. I can see my exercise 0.c file is here. And if not, I will have to change the directory and figure out where my file is. For example, if I was in my root directory, I would have to change into my documents folder, csca48, tut1. Oh, tut1. And once I'm in this directory, then I can access the file. I'll run gcc on this file, type in gcc, ex0.c, that's the file you want to compile. And for now, that's all we have to do. Once we run this, we will create an output file. We currently do not see the output file, but if we list out all our files again, we'll see that there's a new file, a.out. This is our output file, this is our executable, and this is automatically named a.out unless you give it a separate name. So I can run this a.out file by doing dot slash a.out. And just like that, my code has run and given me my output. In this tutorial, I showed you guys what our development environment looks like. On the left is a text editor, and on the right is our terminal. That's a wrap. I hope to see you in the next video.